Said you'd understand. Who can understand a frozen dinner? I don't know. When I was a kid, my mother used to spend hours preparing my father's dinner. She'd stuff great leaves. She'd make bread. bread and she'd make special wines. Hi. Sounds like we're doing the old stuffed grape leaves routine again. They weren't frozen either. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Just that Francis and I worked late on my paper mache assignment. That? That's your uh, <clears throat> assignment? You remember that horrible lamp that Aunt Clara sent? I knew I couldn't do much work. You figured wrong, huh? Cut it out. Just go wash up the dinner. I already ate a bologna sandwich. I got this civics report to do. It's pretty bad, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's quite good, as a matter of fact. I mean, the colors, you know, oh, they go with honey. the... Uh... Thanks for trying. <laughs> but I know that paper mache isn't my thing either. Funny. All these years of trying to raise a family working and struggling to make ends meet. I just couldn't wait until things got easier and I'd be able to do all the things I wanted to do on my own. I know. And then funny, now I, all of a sudden I, I'm the wife of a big important executive and my kids are practically grown up and... Not to mention the washer dryer and the floor waxer and the pressure cooker. <laughs> exactly. Oh. And somehow I feel... What? Oh, I'm not sure how I feel. Empty. Maybe I'm just hungry. You know what your problem is? No, but I believe you're going to tell me. Very simple. You just got too much time on your hands, that's all. Maybe I should take up floral arranging. Margaret Simpson does the most beautiful centerpieces. Oh, Lil, come on, let's face it, will you? Floral arranging, art classes, paper mache, you're just cluttering up your life with trivia. I'm what? Well, uh, Mr. Major said that. Well, not to me, he didn't. Well, he said it at a board meeting. And what he meant was that man should free his, his, his mind and his energy for better things, for more, more important things. Uh, what? Excuse me. Uh, do you think that in, in spite of this age of, of faceless anonymity and the oversaturation of mass media information, that the principles of individuality are still viable? What kind of question is that? I didn't even know if it was a question. <laughs> well, do you? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course, naturally. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot. I know. What was that all about? Whatever it was, it sounded very important. Well, all I'm trying to say is that if you've got extra time, put it to better use. Get involved. Do you have anything in mind, or should I look something up in the classified page? Come on, Lil. I bet if we put our minds to it, we could find a lot of things in this neighborhood that needs improving. And I'd like to do something worthwhile. But I'm just one woman. Wrong. You're one of a whole neighborhood of women, just like you. And I bet all your friends would line up behind you if you just led the way. You really think so? I know so. And I think I got just the cause. What's that? Helping to stamp out frozen dinners. <laughs> uh, if we examine our safety record to date... Safety record to drat. To drat? You said date, I said drat. I broke the point of my pencil. <laughs> it's date. I'll get it. Mr. Nuvo's office. It's for me. Oh, hello, Mrs. Nuvo. Yes, he's right here. It's Mrs. Nuvo. Hello, Mrs. Nova. I, I mean, hello, Lillian. Oh, I am so glad I listened to you. You were right. I was? About what? About getting involved. I called a bunch of the girls in the neighborhood, and guess what? We formed a group. Tell them we're calling it the Charge of the Wife's Brigade. <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. Uh, 
let Lily inform the neighborhood group for community action. Tell her congratulations. Felicia says congratulations. Tell her thanks. Oh, and Arnie, they made me chairman after I told them what you said about getting involved. Oh, they made her chairman and she's getting involved. In what? In what? In what? Uh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> they don't know yet. You mean you're chairman and you don't know your cause yet? I know. I know the perfect cause. What, what's Felicia saying? She says she knows the perfect cause. The Women's Liberation Movement. What'd she say? It wasn't that perfect. <laughs> Causes. There's air pollution, high prices, uh, oh, the passing the new school bond issue. I've got it. We've got it. She's got it. What? What? Good morning. Oops, sorry, a little blunder there. Didn't know you were incommunicado. Uh, uh, honey, I'll have to call you later. Uh, Mr. Majors just stepped in. Uh, that, that was my wife on the phone. She needed some advice. Hmm. Arnie, I yield to no man in respecting the devoted helpmate. Yes, sir. She's a wonderful helpmate. Yes, the little woman, our life's companion, tending the home fires while we go out to slay the grizzly and the buffalo. If only the ladies could respect the sanctity of the business phone. Oh, but she had something very important on her mind. I'm sure she sincerely thought so, Arnie. But we're busy getting out our bi-monthly safety report. What could be more important than that? A tree. You're going out to fight for a tree. Yeah, it's a big oak in front of the library. Walter and I used to sit under it after school. They're going to cut it down and put up a parking lot. Fran, I'm sure it's a marvelous tree, but when I said find the cause, I meant go out and get something big. It's a pretty big tree, Arnie. <laughs> Let's be realistic. In these times, it's not just one tree. It's a million trees, a million streams, a million school kids. It's ecology. That's what I'm talking about. What about ecology? Well, yeah, Lou, it's always in the news. Ecology, yeah, that's a really big issue. Yeah. What is it? Well, ecology, well, everybody knows what ecology is. You see, it's, you, well, you know, it's... Ecology uh, is the branch Hey, hey, of hey, hey, Rich, where's your manners? You're interrupting me. Um, guess I did, I'm sorry. That's better. Now explain ecology to your mother. <laughs> ecology is that branch of biological science that deals with the symbiotic relationships of living organisms and their natural environment. Well, I, I, I think that that's, that's too big a thing for us to tackle. Lil, the little people are what make big things happen. Don't you understand? Sure, it's tough, but if you have a cause that you believe in, you fight for it. What'd you say? Say that again? If you have a cause that you believe in, you fight for it. You get a... No, no. Listen, I'll, I'll see you there. I gotta, I gotta write that down. I'll see you there. you believe in? What was that all about? What's he doing? Well, you're not supposed to know. But Rich is writing a term paper for his civics class. About ecology? <laughs> no, it's about you. He's supposed to write about the biggest day-by-day -day influence affecting his personal conduct. And that's me? Yep. <laughs> Hey, is this the one you said wasn't safe? Yeah. I don't think they can take full pressure anymore. Hmm. All right, let's see. Turn it on. Turn it on, Wally. Uh, you're right. Boiler the room. Call for Mr. Novo. I can't talk right now. It's your wife. Says it's urgent. You better take it. Urgent is always serious. All right, see if you can get the phone up here. Easy. That's it. Bring it up, right in here. Hello, honey. Listen, I can't talk to you right now. It's very important. I think we found our cause. A cause? Oh, uh, good. Uh, look, uh, sweetheart, I, 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 I can't talk to you, really. I gotta talk. I'll... I can't hear you. you. You should know. We're going to fight air pollution. You're going to what? I can't hear it. Uh, Arnie, Arnie, I, uh, there's only one problem. I need your permission. What did you say? Waiting, Arnie. Just, yeah, just go full steam ahead. Right. you honey no no you go full steam ahead you got yeah okay goodbye 
He told you to forget it, right? I don't believe it. My husband said to go full steam ahead. <laughs> While in the shipping room, we are trying to cut down on the problem of practical joking. Our philosophy should be millions for safety, but not one cent for horseplay. Miss Farfus, if you don't mind. What's wrong, Mr. Majors? Barney, I can't believe it. Continental's image is besmirched, brutalized, if you will, raped. <laughs> what is it? What, what's the matter? Barney, all oh, words fail. Look for yourself. <laughs> Who are they? What do they want? This isn't a campus. Whoever they are, let's ignore them. It's an outrage. I'm going to call the police. You can't. I can't? Well, you don't want to. Well, think of Continental's reputation in the community. Let me go down there, and maybe I can talk them into going home. Good thinking. But as my spokesman, you should know one thing. My conscience is clear. I can face any accusation confident and unafraid, just as soon as I check with our legal department. And don't forget, be diplomatic. They're ladies. Yes, sir. Remember, cool, calm, and relaxed. That's the keynote, cool, calm, and relaxed. Clean air now! Clean air now! There will be clean air now! What do you hope clean to accomplish air. by this? We hope that our action will make this company do something to help clean up the air that we and our children are breathing. But why did you choose this company? Well, we, we had a survey. Ladies, could you hold up your signs a little higher? Now. Red, get some shots of this. Yeah, that's good. Could we have your name, please? Could it's, we have your name? It's Lillian. Harrison, H-A-R-R-I-S-O-N, Harrison. You want my maiden name. Her name is Lillian Nubo, N-U-V-O. That's her husband, Arnie. He works here. You work here? No, 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 no comment. How do you feel about your wife? It's, a, it's a big mistake. No comment. Go home, everybody. Wait a minute, Arnie. Oh, gentlemen, my name is Mrs. Walter Granskog. Clean air now. Yeah, what's wrong? Air. What's gotten into you? Whose idea was this? What was your idea? Idea. You told me specifically. I said pick a cause. And we did. Air pollution. Yeah, but how could you? You should have called me. I did that too, and you said full steam ahead. Oh, I did, didn't I? I? <laughs> yeah, but not this. Arnie, you said to get involved in something big. But not this big. Lil, I didn't tell you to attack Continental Flange. There are other companies just as guilty. Not according to Ethel Black's husband. Who? Well, he's a city engineer. I had him check all the files from the companies that produce air pollution. Continental Flange won. Lil, we call that losing. <laughs> no, I'm not finished with that yet. How can you make grape leaves at a time like this? I thought that's how your mother kept your father happy. That's the way my mother kept my father filled. <laughs> finished? Right. She kept him happy by not trying to ruin his whole career. Oh, Arnie. I'm sorry I upset you so, but I really thought I was doing what you wanted me to do, and with your blessings, too. Well, you really want my blessing? Oh, you know I do. All right, then don't show up in that picket line tomorrow. You got my blessing. Very well. But you'll understand why I don't talk to you for the rest of the evening. Okay, don't talk to me. Just talk to those lady friends of yours and tell them to call her up, too. Oh, no, I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? Well, if I tell them that after all you said about getting involved, you're going to look pretty shabby. If I lose my job, we're all going to look pretty shabby. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I don't think your father's in any mood to be asked a question. I'd advise you to go out and water the lawn. No, no, you go right ahead and ask. If you want to ask a question, you go ahead. Go ahead. What is it? No, that's okay. I'll, I'll go water the lawn. No, no, no. Just ask your question. Well, I'm doing my civics report. And yeah. so what's the question? Well, I couldn't help overhearing you and Mom arguing. No, discussing. 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 And I want to know how you feel about people who give in under pressure. Is it due to weakness? Is it due to cowardice? Or just an innate desire for peaceful compromise? Go out of the lawn. <laughs> I think I'll go water the lawn, too. <laughs>
Mr. Nubo, if we're ever going to finish the safety report... It's hard to concentrate with those fanatics down there. Mr. Nubo, those fanat... Those women are vital, concerned women of our community. They're fanatics. How typically male. The moment we women stop being mere sex objects, you males put us to scorn. <laughs> no, not me. I don't know. I, I, I... Arnold, yesterday you promised me that you'd take care of this situation. Today, I see that was an empty promise. Well, it takes time. It's hard. It's very delicate, Mr. Major. There's such fanatics out there. But I know one thing. You won't see my wife out there protesting. There will be the only two who haven't, won't we? Oh. It says Mrs. Arnold Nouveau. That is your wife, isn't it? Oh, doesn't she look brave and dedicated? Yes, indeed, that's Mrs. <laughs> Nouveau. Mr. Majors, uh, you don't have to worry about this. Nobody pays any attention to the Morning Sentinel. Everybody knows it's a scandal sheet. I happen to be the major stockholder in the Morning Sentinel. <laughs> well, at least they didn't mention uh, Continental Flange. Of course, I just told you I'm the majority stockholder. But it does say that your wife is the head of this lunatic drive. Don't worry, Mr. Majors. I spoke to her last night and she won't be back. Too little and too late. Your help made us cast the first stone, and I will not turn the other cheek. Miss Marvis, take a memo. Arnold? Oh, wait a minute. Perhaps you'd better stay. I will not hide behind the printed word. I appreciate that, Mr. Majors. No bless oblige, Arnold. <laughs> to Mr. Arnold Nouveau, Director, Product Improvement Division. There is a blot on the Continental Escutcheon. And since your wife put it there, you will wipe it clean. It's your ball of wax. Melt it down, shape it up, fix it. Fix it before the Monday board meeting, cordially, Ham Majors Jr. Strike that cordially, Miss Farkas. <laughs> Give that top priority. I want a report at the Monday meeting. Well, Mr. Majors, I thought you said the safety report had top priority. Give them both top priority, in that order. <laughs> She does take a terrific picture, doesn't she? <laughs> That's right, Mrs. Bender. If we show up tomorrow, Arnie might lose his job. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, was that the last? That was the very last. There will be no pickets tomorrow. See, I told you they'd all be agreeable. They were all very disagreeable, but they all said that if it was going to cause trouble in the home that they'd quit. Not to mention trouble for me at the office. Oh, that's your major concern, keeping yourself out of trouble? Oh, you keep out of this, Richard. May I quote, if you have a cause you believe in, fight for it. That's not real. You're quoting dreamers. Stop, I'm quoting you. Huh? <laughs> Richard, I want to get rid of air pollution, too, but I've got a family to support. Oh, I wish the two of you were the breadwinners, then you'd understand. I understand this. I like what you say better than what you do. Uh, what she means is... You're a man of words and not deeds. I know what she means. Good night, Richard. Good night. What's the matter with everybody? They treat me like I was a criminal. Of course, you're not a criminal. Because you're a practical man doesn't mean you're not a nice and sincere guy. Papa, are you talking to me? No, I... I thought you were going to sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I was till I got hungry. Oh. Hey, Richie, I... Listen, I'm sorry about losing my, uh, cool. Hmm? Oh, well, listen, that's all right. You're only human. I am human, that's right. I'm glad you understand that. Is this your civics report? Mm-hmm. How's it coming? Well, it's coming along. Hey, that's a heck of a title. <laughs> the influence of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I like that. Mr. Ripley. What's a Mr. Ripley? Oh, he's my student counselor. This is about him? Yeah, he's, he's a real nice guy. He used to be an All-American end at Michigan. He's really soft-spoken and... Got a good-looking beard, too. He's, he sounds like quite a guy. Yeah, quite a guy. He's really with it. You hear that? You've been replaced by a beard with a soft voice. All because you're a nice, sincere guy. A nice and sincere phony, that's what you are. Up to this minute, that is. Well, you just watch. Watch what? Hmm? Oh. Uh, me. If my son can change his mind, so can he. I, I, I mean... <laughs> All right, gang, looks like we're going to have to blast off without Nouveau. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, gentlemen. Mr. Apology rejected, fella. Today you can do no wrong. 
Come, come, lad. I told the gang how you dispersed those pickets. A round of applause for our first line of defense. <laughs> now down to business. Mr. Majors, I would like to make a statement. Uh-uh-uh. Arnie, take your seat. Your turn will come in the proper parliamentary procedure. Yes, sir. First order of business, Arnie New. <laughs> Let's have your safety report, Tiger. Gentlemen, I would like you all to take a deep breath. Clever, clever. An original opening worthy of Mad Avenue. Breathe, gentlemen. <laughs> that was clean, fresh air you just breathed. Arnie, there's a time to breathe and a time not to breathe. Now, moving ahead with your safety report. I don't have it. You don't have it? I was going to wrap it up over the weekend, but I did something else instead. Oh? I was busy over the weekend having anti-smog devices installed in our plant. What? What? The what? Who authorized that, Nuvo? Mr. Majors. That's not true. Heck, fire guy. Now you're adding fibbing to your other crimes. I never <laughs> I have your memo here, Mr. Majors. The one you dictated to my secretary. See? It says, fix it. But when I said fix it, I didn't mean fix it. Mr. Majors, I went home Friday night to my wife and I told her. I told her to cut out this stuff and call off her friends too. Here, here. And she did it because she loves me. But she thought less of me. And so did my son. And so did I. But, Arnie, you knew I was going to install those devices the very minute they became legally mandatory. <laughs> Need to doing right now. I'm the president of this company. And my wife is a public-spirited citizen who happens to be right. I'd rather be president than be right. <laughs> Mr. Majors, one more thing. Uh, don't try to make it up to me with your resignation. It's not my resignation. It's the installation bill. Imagine my wanting your resignation. I'm glad you understand, Mr. Majors. Understand nothing, Arnie. You're fired. <coughs> fired? Why? Because what you've done has harmed a lot of unsuspecting citizens. Who can be harmed by cleaner air? This citizen. <laughs> and all these citizens around this table. You could at least have thought of us and our fiscal sensitivity. I did, Mr. Majors. Those women who've been condemning us are cheering us now. Is that bad for the company image? It's got a point there, H.M. Don't you see, Mr. Majors, you happen to be the president of a company that's setting a shining example for others to follow. H.M., we probably can cash in on a lot of publicity. Publicity? Sure, it's a natural for all the trade journals and newspapers. Is that all, Arnie? Yes, sir. Well, since I've already set one shining example today, I might as well set another. Welcome back to work, Arnie Newborn. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Thank you. Perhaps you're wondering why I called you all together. Yes. Well, certainly you have some idea. I knew it. It's about the protest march. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Majors. I thought you said that was all settled. I want you to know that I'm solely responsible for what happened. No, no, though. We did it together. Poignant. Absolutely poignant. Just the kind of salt-of-the-earth reaction I'd expect from the new votes. <laughs> but to paraphrase Mark Antony, I come to praise you, not chastise you. Praise, praise me? Read this. For outstanding service in environmental control. The Morning Sentinel. That's something. You really deserve it, Mr. Majors. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But I'm a team player. I like to see the Indians up there with the Chiefs. That's why I sent for you. Because I need your permission, Millie. Lillian. For what? Because of your inspirational efforts, I think your name should be on this plaque, right next to mine. Oh, oh, that would really be an honor. <laughs> what did I tell you, Lil? It pays to get involved. Or better yet, just, just below my name. A much better balance. 